Robotics, Lesson Two for Grade Four. Hi, everybody. In this second lesson, we will discover together the welcome screen of the program Mindstorm. In this lesson, we will show you how to create a new project and what are the elements that form the welcome screen of the software Mindstorm. If you need to install the Mindstorm educational version. Please do not hesitate to send us an email in order to provide you with the link. Once the software is launched, the welcome screen is displayed. Note that those big icons on the left of the screen are made to discover some features of the software. To start creating a new robotic mission, click on the plus sign. A new project is created under the name Project. Note that this project, a default mission program, is created named Program. By clicking on the plus sign, you can create under the same project as many mission programs as you want. Remember that if you download a project on the robot, all of the programs included under the same project will be downloaded. Once a new mission is created. You can examine the four elements that form the welcome screen of the software Mindstorm. First, the screen where the robotics missions will be created. Note that this screen includes by default the block Start. Second, the content editor screen where all the project documentations like videos, pictures, and documents are saved. Since the projects we are creating in class are simple ones, so there's no need to document what we are doing. That's why the first thing you have to do is to hide this screen in order to have more space for working on the robotics missions. Third, on the bottom of the welcome screen, you find the different block categories. Examine the action category, the flow control category. The sensors category, the data operation category, and the my blocks category. And finally, the fourth part of this welcome screen is the connectivity screen, from where you can download the mission from the computer to the robot. Examine the two buttons: download and run. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and do not forget to follow us on YouTube. Facebook and Instagram, in order to receive more updates.